In the previous video, we had a look at how to create a post entry using a front end form with advanced customs fields and the plugin advanced custom fields extended. And in this one, I'm going to show you a really easy way to create an editing and approval form that is situated just below the post. So if you want to edit or approve a post, you simply go to the post. At the top of the page, you will see the post as the user sees it. And as you scroll down, you will then come to a form that you can complete, which will then edit the content of the post. So no need to flip between the back end and the front end to see the effect of the change. So in order to do that, we're going to head back to the admin section of WordPress. And we're going to go and create a form for editing. So what we'll do then is we'll head over to custom fields and we'll head over to forms. Once we're on the forms page, we'll add a new form. And we're going to call this one edit news. The form name, we'll just say news edit. And the field group, we'll use the same field group that we used when creating the post. Right, so it'll be new posts. Once again, we publish that now, and that then links the custom fields to this form. So with that published, what we're going to do now is we're going to add an action. And in this case, it's a post action. And the action is going to be to update the post. So what we'll do is update that. And now what's going to happen is when the form loads, we're going to select the fields that load into this form from the existing post. Right, so we will click on load. So we know that it's a post. Now when creating a post, you would leave all these fields blank. But because we're going to edit a post, we want to load certain information. So the source would be the current post and the post type would be a post. We've already established that there. If this was a custom post type, you might select that there. So nothing to select there. The post status, well, we'll leave that at default because the post status is determined by the current post. The post title, however, will be the news title. The slug as it is for the post, the post content would be the news content, post author, post author, parent, parent, post terms would be the categories. And we will toggle all of those fields to be loaded when we have a look at the editing form it will load those values and when we look at the save option the save options would be very similar once again you'll see that the news title is pre-configured the post content and the categories and we'll just toggle all of those right so the the matchup between what fields to load and what to save is now complete. And we can update that. So in order to make this work now, we need to insert this short code in the template for that post. Now bear in mind that this content here is only going to be available to the admin or the editor of the post. In this case, we'll just say it's only available to the administrator, but you could select any user group. Now to do that would depend on the template uh, that you're using for your website. In my case, I'm using Oxygen Builder. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the templates. We'll do that in a new tab. We will select post single. We'll say edit with Oxygen. Oxygen loading. Right, so Oxygen has loaded and here it's picking up the fields from the post. So there we have our post. Let's head over to the structure of our website. So we have the section and in that section we have our post. So we'll add a new section and 
And in that section, we're just going to add the WordPress shortcode. So we'll do a shortcode wrapper. We're going to set the width of that to 100%. And then inside that, we're going to add a shortcode. There is the form. We'll head over to advanced size and spacing. And we'll just set the width of that form to 100%. So if we scroll down, you'll see that it has picked up some of the fields. for that form. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to save that. And what we're also going to do before we go is we're going to add a condition and we're going to say that this content will set the condition. We'll go down to user role. And we'll say the user role must equal administrator. But you can set that to any user role that you want. And we'll save that again. So that means that if somebody visits the site and they're not an administrator, they're not going to see this form at the bottom of the page. So if we then head back to our posts, and I'll open that in a new tab again. Right, and there we can see our post. And what we'll do is we will see if we can get that to preview. Right, so that's loading. And there we have our post, which is in a draft um, view. And as you can see, we can edit all the content on that post. Let's head back to the post section and let's go to a post that's been published. And in this case, you can see the post which ends there. And underneath it is the form that we just created to edit. So if we wanted to test that, we've got the add some, let's change the title. Title uh, with more text and add a little more. And we'll submit that. And you'll see that as soon as we've submitted that information to update, you'll see with more text, scroll down, and a little more. So you can see now that if I want to edit any post, I simply go along to the published post. I can see straight away what it looks like. I can then scroll down, make the adjustment, hit submit, and it automatically then makes the update. If I wanted to include another category, let's say uncategorized, and I submit the form again. You will see that this post has now been updated. So that's quite possibly the easiest way to edit a post without flipping between the front end and the back end.